bike for long enough it, it's time to get the royal retreatment last time I did a hidden bike gems video this time we're gonna do a bike build breakdown because it's totally different now if you haven't seen my past video you can go back and check it out I talk about the history of this Le Mans it being one of the last ones made in the USA uh, also the last year that Greg worked at the Le Mans factory with Trek because of a whole bunch of issues I mentioned in that video but anyways uh, let's break this bike down, man. We got this beautiful, this is a one owner before I had it, came from Connecticut, and it's gorgeous. I love it. Uh, a very cool titanium-like metal lower frame, carbon upper frame, Trek uh, OCLD tubing, because, you know, Trek and them were in business back then, if you didn't know that already. One of the things I like to do, I upgraded the rear and front brakes to Ultegra 6700 series. This is the last model of the 10-speed series. Uh, one generation newer than what came stock. It came stock with Ultegra 6600. But uh, these are very, very close. The newer models, there's a lot of trickle-down technology. Uh, Dura-Ace and Ultegra are very similar when they're next to each other in models. And uh, this is substantially lighter than the 6600 series. So it was a great upgrade. You could find them just because it doesn't say Dura-Ace on it. Everybody that has Little Tiger wants to upgrade to Dura-Ace. Guess what? If you get this newer one, one of the lightest ones you could get. Best bang for the buck, in my opinion. And uh, again, that's the Otega 6700 series. I paid about $38 for this pair. I mean, you can't beat it. Really good deal. The next thing I did was zero offset seat post made by Two Seek, just a Chinese one. No more than 25 bucks from Amazon. I'll have the link to all of this stuff in the description. I got a really nice Pro Logo Q saddle with titanium rails, lightweight, very comfortable, a little wider because I like the wider saddles. Next step, 1128 cassette, but by Sunrace, within 30-ish grams, I want to say, I, I could be wrong, somewhere very close to Ultegra and Zram 1070 series, which is like their Forest equivalent. $30, $28 shipped off of Amazon. It gives you the bigger range here at the end, the 28 tooth, so you can climb easy. You have an 11 tooth on the inside, so when you're in the big ring, you've got full top speed. When you're in your small ring on the crank, you got an easy 28 tooth to hit. When you're climbing, you don't have to worry about it. You know, it saves you a lot of energy, too, in the long run. One of my favorite mods right there. And almost identical to what came on it. Again, I'll take your 6600, but much smaller. And then here is my next mod, an Aris full carbon fork. And this means the steer that goes up here and the clamps on is all carbon construction, the legs here and everything. Substantially lighter than what came on it. It was a carbon leg fork with an aluminum steer up here, a lot heavier. And I got this for, I want to say around 70 bucks or so. Super great upgrade again where you can lose the weight and makes big differences in things like when you change out the fork. It's actually a surprising amount of difference for a very little amount of money. And of course, you can't forget the HED wheels. I did put a very nice set of HED Kermis wheels. I could be saying this totally wrong. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, bladed spokes, very nice construction, very high end. Tie that up with some surface blue tires, flat protection. 130 PSI, got this pair for 30 bucks off of eBay. The wheels I got for 150, and I actually sold the cassette that came on it for like 50 bucks or something too. These are some very good uh, cheap water bottle off of eBay. They're clones of Bontrager Race Light Triple X's. It says it here, but they really aren't. I'm not gonna lie to you, they're not genuine. So anyways, um, like 40 grams for the pair. That's insanely light, uh, it's like, $25, $28, less than $30 for the pair of these. So again, budget mods, things that are gonna make you wanna ride more, make you wanna go faster, and make the bike a lot lighter overall. The next step, of course, my Uno 7 stem by Calloway. This and a few other things here are mentioned in my budget 
top six video. You should check that out if you haven't already, along with the handlebars here. These are carbon flat top made by Tuseek. Again, just a Chinese carbon, nothing wrong with that. Pretty high quality. It's not fully integrated cables, but it does hide them at the bottom. It has a little notch in the bottom to hide them a channel. You can't really complain. Overall, I love the way the bike looks. I think it looks amazing. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up having to keep it now to tell you the truth. I hope you guys enjoy the beauties and this is probably one of my favorite projects. I really like the 10 speed, having a triple crank. I know it's a dying breed. I think it's awesome. I don't care what anybody says. Call it a granny gear. I'll be a grandpa then. So be it. But uh, so that's it. Please like and subscribe guys. It really helps my small channel grow. I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.